Hey everyone, today in this tutorial I want to show you how to make a lazy daisy stitch. Now, there could be other variations to making it, and this might not be technically the way that um, other people do it, but this is the way that my grandmother taught me to make plain lazy daisy stitch on crochet fabric. So what I have here is just a plain swatch of single crochets. You might have double crochets or half doubles or, you know, even a variation of multiple stitches. Basically, just have your fabric already made, and then what you're going to need is a yarn needle. And you basically want to choose one that will fit your contrasting yarn. It will be easy to thread through, but not too big and not too small. I think this one will work just good. And then of course you need your contrasting yarn. And right here I just have, I don't know, maybe 15 inches, but it really doesn't matter because we're just showing you an example. So thread your needle like that. Now let's say I'm going to have this be my right side, so let's just start off on the wrong side. Now usually you weave your tails in at the end, and my grandmother taught me to start off by weaving in a little bit of your yarn to the point where you want to have your lazy daisy stitch. So if I want to have my lazy daisy right here, I'll probably stop right around here. And you also want to peek over to make sure that it's not showing. There you go, and see? Your yarn is woven in. And she says sometimes you might want to just make a little knot. It's up to you. If you want to make a little knot just to kind of secure it. I will for the heck of it, but this is just optional. Alright, so now we're going to start our little lazy daisy stitch. Now what I like to do, and my grandmother kind of taught me this, is so you can go in between stitches. I prefer to pierce the strands. From what my grandmother said, it just kind of gives a more secure feel to it. And also, when you pull your yarn back through, it doesn't, a lot of times it won't pull the stitches all the way through. So this is our wrong side, and we just went through to where we, the point we want our Lazy Daisy at. This is going to be the center of my Lazy Daisy flower. So the first thing you do is you're just going to kind of form a pretty loop. About the size that you think you'd like it. I think I like mine just like that, and this is going to be the top petal. So I'm going to just hold this with my thumb. And I'm going to go back, and it doesn't matter if it's the same exact spot, but you want to have it right around the same spot that you came up through. And I'm going to go back through, and I'm going to hold this. And you want to do this very gentle, because you don't want to pull this through, because see, it's unsecure right now. It's just laying right there. So I like that kind of look. Now what we're going to do is take our yarn, hopefully yours doesn't come off like Mine just did. We'll put that back on. Okay. Now what you want to do is come back up right at the tip because we're going to secure and hold that petal down. So go from the back and come through. And again, just work gentle, especially your first time. And then I'm going to go back through on the top of it just to kind of, it's going to kind of clamp it down. See? Just like that. Hold down that little petal, just like that. Now we're going to make another flower. We're going to come back up through the center, or right near the center. Pull your yarn through, not too tight, just remember gentle, gentle pulling, and form your loop. Okay, and it might help to turn your fabric to orient it the way you were before. Now push it back through into the center, and it doesn't have to be the same exact spot, but right around there. And we're not too tight because it's not clamped down yet. Okay. Just kind of play with it in the size. And we're going to come back through, through the top, like that. Gentle, and then back through to clamp it down, just like such. 
All right, now I'm gonna make my third petal. Just like that, pull it through. And for my next flower, my next petal rather. Okay, and go back in through that center. have more petals you can have less petals you can you know it's your flower and you can do it how you want to do it you know an experiment there I don't really think there is any right or wrong to this it's just all about techniques and what you like so back up I can even leave this as three petals if I wanted to there you go alrighty now I'm gonna make a fourth one like that. Through the center. Oh, I lost my yarn again. I have a habit of that. Silly me. Okay, for my little petal. <laughs> Looks like I could have made this one a little more down, but see, nothing is perfect. For my little petal. Okay, put you back in through the center. Just like that. And back through to clamp it down like that. There you go, and there's a little lazy daisy. Not perfect, but it's cute. And then just weave in a little bit of your ends. Tie a knot if you want to, or not. If you don't, weave it in really well. Unlike me, and you want to watch this little hanging string that you don't wind it up and get it caught on there. But since this is just a swatch to show you the technique, and there you go. That's it. All right, I hope that helps you. Thanks.